let's say it's ceremony of Pentecost. We are meeting again today on the feast. And we say this day, yesterday, was the day when the Gentiles are going to be incorporated into the kingdom. And they are going to receive the letter rain on this day. So if the house of God will receive the letter rain with one for four thousand on the third month, the Gentiles will receive letter rain in the ninth month. So we celebrate that day as a feast and we get also the blessings. Because who is going to be working to make sure the Gentiles come? It's only the one for four thousand who will gather them up to meet Christ on this day. So we want to welcome you all in the studies. We continue to study the word of God, especially finding out who is Israel by promise. So as we were studying yesterday, we saw how the taskmasters were making it difficult for the people who were in Egypt when, when they were staying in Goshen, they started now when they were shepherds. Instead, they changed to bricklayers. Now we have all this anti-type happening into us, our lives. How are we bricklayers? It's a lot of things have been covered to show that we are bricklayers from the work of shepherds. We have, we have, we have gone back. Our institutes are supposed to be unique, not assimilated with the world, but we are now together with the world. The world, if you see the institutes are very expensive, people cannot afford. If we also have the same, we are being tasked also. That is all related to taskmasters, making it hard. There's so many of it. We have to dig deeper in the spirit of prophecy. God, Sister White will show us how things were supposed to be and how they are now. But today, let us proceed to Exodus chapter 1, verse 12. Let's read from chapter 1, verse 12. Yeah? Verse 12. Mm -hmm. But the more they afflicted them, mm -hmm. the more they multiplied and grew. The more the taskmasters afflicted the Israelites in Goshen, the more they multiplied. By the way, they were supposed to stop the multiplying because they become a big nation and they were strong. So they were supposed to be tasked to say that they, they work very hard so that they are few. But the more they afflicted them, the best says, the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied, right? And, and read again up to verse 15. And they were grieved mm -hmm. because of the children of Israel. Right. And the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, mm -hmm. and he said... Now, this is the pharaoh with the new king who did not know Joseph. This is how he's operating. The, now, as he saw them more, there was no change even when the taskmasters were hard afflicting them but they still were multiplying so the only way out was to task the midwives to make sure the midwives we do not allow male children coming from this tribe now read on this one. and the king of egypt spake and the king of egypt spoke to the hebrew midwives mm -hmm. and he said mm -hmm. when you do the office of a midwife mm -hmm. to the hebrew women mm -hmm. if it be a son mm -hmm. then you shall kill him right but if it be a daughter then she shall live right what verse is that exodus 1 verse 12 15 and 16. right so the task mask maskers could not stop them multiplying the only way out is to task the midwives who will make sure the male child who comes from these hebrews will be killed so that this nation does not multiply. So this is the task which was which went into the maternity unit, right? So that when they are called to deliver any pregnant woman, if it is a male child they will kill. Yeah? Not what this yeah. The midwives mm -hmm. symbolize the church school teachers. Right? Who nurse the children in the system of education. Mm -hmm. You may ask, mm. is it possible that the devil would attempt to deceive the teachers and poison the children's minds? Mm -hmm. The devil is not leaving one string loose. Right. So, in the schools, where in the institutions that God has given us, the midwives, we have been told, they are, they are teachers and school teachers who are tasked so that they make sure things are hard for the children who are learning. Things are hard, even hospitals. Things are hard for anyone to get any 
any treatment and anything. So go down below at the saying the above mentioned issue. Um, no, no, no. Um, go to um, and in general. And in general, mm -hmm. a baptism of reality, mm -hmm. simplicity, mm -hmm. and sincerity in the observance of the world's supreme birthday. No, we have the world's supreme birthday. Which, which, which world's supreme birthday? Which one? The birthday of Christ. It's supreme everywhere. Everyone, even those who don't worship, they talk about the birthday of Christ. And this we joined in also. We became part of them on the birthday of Christ. And all this is creeping into us when we are supposed we, there is no way in the Bible where you find the birthday of Christ but we are also a part of it and we are also partaking in what you call that is called compromise but the midwives died down there but, but the, the midwives God. feared God uh -huh. and did and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them right but so served the men child alive chapter 1 verse 17 right but the midwives feared God now imagine you are being told when you deliver and a baby child, you know, a baby boy comes from these people you have to kill. Now we are delivering, you are, a, you are a midwife and you are supposed to relieve suffering. And now we are told to what? This is what they were told by Pharaoh, to kill these children. And then, but here we are told in, the, in Exodus 1 verse 17, but the midwives feared God, yeah? And did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but served the men, children alive. You see, there were such midwives who feared God. Instead, when they went uh, to deliver a baby boy, they will make sure they do not say that it is a man. They only say it is a female. You understand? Because they feared God. So now here we are. Here we have one good symbol. Mm -hmm. And let us say, mm. amen for the teachers. Right. They feared God. They feared God. Now let's go to verse 15. Verse 15. Yeah. Uh, the name of one of, sorry, the name of the one yeah. was Shipra. Right. And the name of the other was Poor. Right. So the, the names of the midwives are recorded in the Bible. They were recorded that they feared God. They said, we cannot do this. What we have been commanded to do, to kill these male children, we can't do that. And even their names was named in the, in the right? Uh -huh. The and meaning of these names are? What is the meaning of Shifra and poor, right? Beauty and yes. splendor. Right? Indeed it is. It is beauty and splendor. That's the meaning of pure and Shifra. Shifra. Right? Uh -huh. It is indeed beauty and splendor. splendor. They were actually worshipping God, these midwives. Right? Uh -huh. It would have been impossible for two midwives right? to wait on the great multitude of women. Mm. But the fact is mm. that they that they were only two. Mm. The reason for this is to make the symbol perfect. Mm -hmm. Meaning, mm. both classes of teachers, male and female, right? beauty and splendor. They were all male and female, whether teachers or whatever, they were beautiful and splendor. This we got from F1SR 86.2. And then let's go to the next one. Uh, go to read Exodus 1, verse 20. We are seeing what was in the tithe in the Old Testament. And we want to match it with what is in our time. Right? Uh -huh. Verse 20. Right? Therefore, Therefore God dealt well mm. with the midwives. Now, God also blessed these midwives. Dealt very well with them. Right? What did he do? Right? And the people multiplied mm -hmm. and worked very mighty. Right? Pharaoh mm. charged, charged all his people, saying, mm. Every son that is born, mm. ye shall cast into the river, right. and every daughter ye shall save alive. Right? So, in verse 22, we have seen it in verse 22. So, the chief object of Pharaoh, what was the object? Mm -hmm. The chief object of Pharaoh's scheme mm. was not to reduce the people in number. Mm -mm. Had, this been, had this been his aim, mm. he should have killed the female. Even the females, they were there. So, what was he up to? Mm -hmm. For in those days, mm. they practiced polygamy. Right. Had he given an order to cast the female children in the river mm. and save the males, mm -hmm. he could have accomplished his purpose. Right. And also added to mm. his slaves, for it was the man who produced the bricks. Right. So, let us read from Patrick's and Prophets, page 2, 
242. Mm -hmm. Satan was the mover in this matter. Who was moving this matter? It's the devil. Right? Uh -huh. He knew mm. that a deliverer was, was to, to be, be raised, raised up among the Israelites. Right. And by leading the king to destroy their children, mm -hmm. he hoped to defeat the divine purpose. Right. This was the object of the whole affair. Mm -hmm. As this is a symbol, the application will now be made. Let's hear the application being made. Let's go to testimonies uh, to ministers, page 475. Right? 475. And go under the, cha the, the, the chapter called Let Heaven Guide. Right? 475. Mm -hmm. Prophecy must be fulfilled. Right? The Lord says, mm -hmm. Behold, mm. I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Right? Somebody, Somebody. is mm -hmm. to come mm. in the spirit and power of Elijah. Right? And when he appears, mm. men may say, mm. You are too earnest. Right? You do not interpret the scriptures in the proper way. Right? Let me tell you how to teach your message. Mm -hmm. No. No plainer statement could have could have been made than this mm. that we must look for a prophet this verse in malachi chapter 4 verse 4 is so plain to anyone that somebody must come who is in the spirit and power of elijah we have a plain statement from sister white a plain statement from malachi chapter 4 and 4 it is for us to be looking for a prophet in the last days but what if the prophet was male or female what do we hear he knew, the devil knew that the deliverer of Israel, do you understand, mm -hmm. in Egypt, was going to be a male. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. The deliverer of Israel was going to be a male in Egypt, who was going to be Moses. So that was the main aim of killing all the male children. The devil knew it. If it was to reduce the numbers, then, sorry, to reduce the numbers, then even females could have been killed. But because females were not killed, it was only the men. We remember when Christ was born, the devil knew that among the children born on those days, there was a, a Messiah. So he ordered through Herod that all the children under two years should be killed. Now we see even in Pharaoh's time, he ordered the midwives to keep kill all the male children. Why? They were looking, they knew a deliverer, a prophet who would deliver. It's the devil who knew the prophet who would deliver uh, Israel out of Egypt was a male, was Moses. So in killing the male child, he wanted to bump against Moses. Now, what do we hear? We have been told is there is somebody or oh, there is a prophet who is going to deliver, who is going to be in the power and spirit and power of Elijah, who is going to proclaim the statutes and judgment from Malachi chapter 4, verse 4 to 5. We have been told that, but the devil inspires our people right now to say, No women ordination, no women. Why? Because when the, the last prophet was a female, the next one should be a female. The devil knows. The devil knows. So that's why we say they are in the river now to make sure there's no female allowed. But you will you will never stop the, the hand of the Lord. If there is a sister white was not accepted. That's why she came in all these signs of uh, mesmerism being tested for her and uh, visions and could not breathe. Because the people were so hard to accept a female was going to be ordained by God to lead but when she died we are so bereft of the of the of the of the idea that God will still raise a female we saw in another study why God is is is, is, is raising up a female prophet why there was a reason if you want it's a long study why it should be female it, sh it can't be male it should be female why is there such controversy over females is because the devil knows. Put this, put these females in the river Nile, and then we have no prophet. If females were eradicated in the time of Sister White, we couldn't have a prophet. So still, with the same, with the same when, when God changed from 1844, he said brought a female. But before 1844, he was bringing males. 
He was bringing males from Martin Luther, John Knox, Campbell, they were all males, William Miller males. But he changed in 1844 when he was starting now to seal the 144,000. And it was a female prophet. And now can she, can God change back to, to males? He can't. There is a reason why he changed to female. There is a reason. He wants the work to be finished. So God, no, the, the devil well knows it should be a female. That's why there is no women should be allowed to. But you go to other churches. You go everywhere. You find females have got white collars. They are doing all the, nobody is stopping them. But with us in the house of God, no female is allowed. Why? You are putting them in the river now. Don't put them in the river now. God will make sure rescues if it is a female and put in the basket like it was with Mo Moses. He was put in the basket in the river Nile to be preserved when all the males were being killed. So the same God is tactful. Let the devil not fool himself that he's going to eradicate the women from officiating in the work of God so that he doesn't have Elijah who has been promised. Let him not fool himself. God is wiser than the devil. So let's hear. Let's hear. Mm -hmm. No plainer statement. Mm -hmm. No plainer statement mm. could have been made than this. Mm. That we must look for a prophet mm -hmm. or a message in the near future. Right. If this is an inspired statement, mm -hmm. then it seems it would be the duty of the watchmen on the walls of Zion mm -hmm. to educate and, and instruct, instruct the people, people that there is a prophet or right. a message That's to look we for. We should be instructing the people that in the last days, we have been promised a prophet by Malachi chapter 4, verse 45, and by testimonies for Jake 4, 75. It has been somebody is to come in the spirit of, this is our duty to educate and look for the uh, uh, Elijah. But no one is that gospel. No one is that people are just imposing themselves to be used by God. But God has a prophet in this last day. He has. The fact that we are zealously and sweating, saying there is no woman, there is no woman everywhere, there is no woman, and there is no woman, it should be a female. It should be a female, right? Uh -huh. But mm. what have we? Mm -hmm. On the contrary, the general opinion of the entire denomination is no there prophet, is no prophet cometh. cometh. We are stagnant on the third angel's message. And then the messages are supposed to continue up to the fifth angel's message. But we are stuck on the third. Why? The fourth is there. The fifth is there. The last messenger is there. Until everything is finished and then we say the harvest is past. The summer is ended. We are not saved. Why? We did not look for the last prophet. We did not look. Whether we educate ourselves that there is no prophet, God will still use the prophet. And the people who are humble and simple will still continue with the prophet. They will continue. Until Christ comes, we will be taken by surprise. Right? And the general consensus is there is no prophet coming. Yeah? Neither, Neither is there any message to be expected. And then we are all rich and increased and saying we have no more light to come. No more new light. No more we are ready to go up in the pedicate. But it's not like that in the scriptures. There is still more light to come with the last prophet. Uh -huh. And we then have we say all, we have all the truth, right? We have all the truth mm -hmm. and we need none. We need none. That's the general consensus. Everyone is saying we are okay. We are okay. We have all the books of Sister White and the, our, our dead prophet is the one still leading us. This is what we are saying. But you will be taken by surprise. God will still use whether we say there is no prophet. They said so. When the time came, when Christ came the first time, they, they did not agree he was a prophet. They did not agree. But he still went ahead. The, yeah, we have Christians who followed him. They still, God will never stop whether some brain stops, but God will still continue. Right? Uh -huh. We have all the truth and we need none, mm -hmm. is the cry from the camp of Israel. That's the cry. We have no more truth. We are also fulfilling the Odyssean truth. He's saying, we are rich and increased. We need nothing. We have all the goods. We are ready for the pelicans. And God says, you are miserable, poor, naked, and worse things that you know it's not. Mm. Right? And here, just... That's, uh, uh -huh. 
Thus we see mm. how the old enemy mm. has duplicated his underhand deception with the church at the present time. Mm -hmm. Just as Pharaoh was unconscious of the main purpose of his command, mm -hmm. just so by the unconsciousness of the, the leaders, mm -hmm. the shrewd deceiver has attempted to drown the prophet mm -hmm. or the message of reform for right. the present time. The shrewd deceiver has attempted to drown the prophet in the river Nile, like they attempted to drown, drown Moses in the river Nile. But God will ever try him. Yeah? And yeah, thus it proves. Thus it proves in mm -hmm. every instance mm -hmm. that the experience of Israel in Egypt mm. is a photograph of Israel the true. Mm -hmm. If a prophet oh. or even a message should come, right? the church is not ready to accept either. Everywhere, every time you check any message which came, the church wasn't ready. When they when Christ came, they were not ready to receive him. When Luther was raised, they were not raised, ready to re receive Luther. Same as John Knox, same as Campbell. Same as William Miller, same as Sister White was disfellowshipped where she was worshipping. They were not ready. And when she progressed, still those who are the prophets of the hour will be disfellowshipped. And those who disfellowship will never guess it's a prophet. Until Christ comes. It has never been accepted. Uh -huh. The result may be the same mm -hmm. as it was with the Jewish nation and the coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. How terrible the thought. Mm. While it seemed to the Egyptians in the interest of the empire mm -hmm. to hold these people in bondage. Here we, here we are reading from uh, Review and Herald, January 23, 1930. So start from Review and Herald. It says, while it seemed. While it seemed to the Egyptians mm. in the interest of the empire mm -hmm. to hold these people in bondage, mm -hmm. the real purpose behind it mm -hmm. all was the determination of Satan the dragon power mm. of Isaiah 51 verse 9 mm -hmm. to hold the people of Israel in bondage of sin mm -hmm. and to prevent the work of reform to which God had set his hand mm -hmm. at the t as the time of the prophecy came. Right. As the time of the prophecy came that Moses should deliver Israel, they tried by all means to stop these people from reforming, from going with Moses out of the land of Egypt. They tried. They, the devil tried even with Christ. So that church stopped the reforming. Because if they met Christ and they went together with Christ, they were going to reform and become Christians. And also in our time, still the same order. They will never want to be reformed. The Elijah who has been promised, nobody preaches about that. Nobody expects anybody. Nobody expects any prophet. We have all the lie. We are ready to be independent. But this is our time when we were promised that before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, there is Elijah in Malachi chapter 4, verse 4, who is going to come and preach the message of the statues and judgments. Statues, the feast. These are the statues. And Elijah was promised to come and preach those feasts. But when they come, what we say, it was predicted. We say, you are too earnest. You do not know how to interpret the scriptures, right? You do not know how many people are arguing on that point until Christ shall come, right? Uh, let's see here, the male children, um, how drowned is the devil? Mm -hmm. Has the devil drowned? Yeah, still written on one uh, Now it's volume one, page 88, right? Uh -huh. Has the devil right? drowned any of the male children in the river now at this time? Right. Where are the men mm. in this mm. denomination? Where are they? Where are the men? And it's the iron of it. There are more females. But then we say there is no women in the nation. But where are the men? Where are they? Right? Where? Where are the men? They, they must, must be. Where are they? They must be in the river Nile. Right. For mm. it is a symbol of the sins in the world. Right. And that is where we generally find the men mm -hmm. and the women in church. No, the women are in church. And where are the men? And most of them say, oh, well, my, my husband doesn't come, but I worship and the children. I worship and the children. Where are the men? In the river Nile. In the river Nile, drowning there. Right? And what? Mm -hmm. The question mm. may be asked, mm -hmm. what sifted out the men? What made them go to the river Nile? What sifted out? Right? The spirit of prophecy teaches that Mm. We should see 
to it that employment is furnished yeah to newcomers uh -huh. to newcomers in the truth right. to make Peter it possible says, when people join us and become sabbath keepers we should see to it that they have somewhere to work why because they won't be allowed to work on the sabbath anyway so you will find men are there in the river now because one their work does not permit them to keep the sabbath but what are we doing as a people to make sure the males are having a sabbath free employment what do we do uh -huh. also because to the take care of the poor say we have to take care of the poor we have to take care of those who do not who, who, who do not have employment because of the sabbath but where are the men they are busy working there they have to try by all means to keep that Sabbath while the work also, the children want to work. But what are we doing as a people giving this message that the Sabbath is a rest day? But what about them? Where do they find employment to rest on Sabbath? We are supposed to be doing that as a people. Right? Uh -huh. Right? The question also, is... Mm -hmm. Also to take care mm. of the poor and the sick among us. We have even our money, the first tithe and second tithe, Second tithe was for the poor. But where is it going? It is supposed to be looking for the employment for the men and also taking care of the poor. We saw it in, 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 in Deuteronomy chapter 14. It's the poor and the widows and the, everyone, the, the orphans, they should be catered for by the second tithe. But where are they? We have caused them to drown in the river Nile. Right? And what? Mm -hmm. This instruction has been given all to, has been altogether disregarded mm -hmm. with the result that mm -hmm. the men are sifted out of the church. Right? Men they love, love the, the truth. truth as much as women do. They do love the truth. But as soon as they hear the truth, mm -hmm. they begin to inquire about, about things. things. Immediately, Immediately the difficulty arises mm -hmm. and the question is asked, mm -hmm. how can I keep, can the, I Sabbath keep the Sabbath and yet hold my position? And yet hold my position at work. If I should let my position go, right? then uh, can I secure another? Mm -hmm. Would the church help me find something to do? Right. Would the church render some assistance mm. in case of great need, mm. such as lack of food, mm -hmm. clothing, mm -hmm. or in case of sickness? Right. All these qu qu questions uh, are answered at once, once, once with no. no. The result is the, result is the mm -hmm. decision is made mm -hmm. and the truth is turned down. They turn down the truth and they stay at work while their husband, their wives are at it. Their wives are in church and the children. Is it not what is happening? But what about their money? The second tithe was for them. The second tithe was for looking for employment for the men to make sure they are also working. They are also there are projects to make sure that when you, you take people, you take someone with a good job outside there and say you should rest on Sabbath. They just say no, because I get that money and, and I feed my children. No. Why? It's a restructuring which is wanted by God. This is what we got from the spiritual prophets who were supposed to fend for the poor with the second tithe. We were supposed to fend for the poor and also create employment for the men. Right? Let's continue in volume 1, page 88. Okay. If, mm -hmm. right. if the church if the church had finished some encouragement, some encouragement along these lines. Mm -hmm. This position would not have been taken by these newly interested parties. Mm -hmm. And the result would have been that the men as well as the women mm -hmm. would have been in the church. Right. Men being the wage earners, right. the increase of tithes and offerings cannot be estimated. Mm -hmm. And the little expenditure in helps would be but a fragment in comparison. Mm -hmm. Employment agency would be a great field to the denomination mm -hmm. not only employment would have been secured from people outside of the organization mm -hmm. but the work among us would mm -hmm. be secured by mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. thus That's the, the men are cast into the world or nile mm -hmm. by the women left alive in the church the women are in the church and what is the result the, the men are all in the river nile all the festival all the, the male children are killed by pharaoh right let us go to Exodus chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. And the woman conceived and bare a son. Sorry, and the woman conceived and bare a son. Mm -hmm. And when she saw him, that he was a goodly child, mm -hmm. she hid him three months. Who is that one? It's Moses. Moses. One, one is, the devil was targeting to see that Moses is never going to be alive by making by making a, 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 an order to kill all male children. But now let's see Moses now, the prophet being born, right? Mm -hmm. 
And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, she mm -hmm. hid him three months. Mm -hmm. And when she could no longer hide him, she took for him an ark of bulrushes mm -hmm. and dubbed it with slime and pitch and put the child therein. Mm -hmm. And she laid it in the flags by the river brinks. Mm -hmm. Providence mm -hmm. led the Egyptian princess to the river to wash herself. Right. And after seeing the ark, mm. she sent her maid to fetch it. Mm. She saw that the babe wept, and she had compassion on him. Mm -hmm. The sister of the babe stepped to Pharaoh's daughter and said, mm. Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, mm. that, they, that she may nurse thee the child for thee? Mm -hmm. On the arrival of the, of the child's mother, mm. Pharaoh's daughter said, mm. Take this child away and nurse it for me. And the child grew, mm. and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter at the age of 12. Right. And the princess named him mm. Moses. Mm -hmm. The lesson here is, mm. with all the satanic schemes, it would be impossible to defeat the divine purpose. The divine purpose, you cannot quell it. The, all the satanic schemes will not take Moses and kill Moses. Like same, if we have a prophet of the last day, all the satanic schemes will not eradicate. If it's a woman, we, whether we make laws that there are no women supposed to, to be ministers or no women supposed to lead, God will always triumph. You understand? Now, let's hear um, as Moses the type. As Moses the type mm -hmm. received the highest education mm. the courts of Pharaoh could produce mm -hmm. after becoming of age, mm. He was compelled to choose one or two things, either the throne of Egypt or to suffer affliction with the children of Israel. Right. Just so, mm. modern Moses, the antitype, mm -hmm. receives the highest education the denomination can produce mm -hmm. when of age, mm -hmm. finished education mm -hmm. or professor. Mm -hmm. Modern. Modern Moses is, mm -hmm. as well as, sorry, as well being compelled to choose one of the two things. Mm -hmm. Either professor. Professor in the world. Or, With the large income, right? fame, and the pleasures of sin mm -hmm. for a season. Right. Or, now, let, let's go to Ez Moses. Ez Moses, just in the next sentence. As Moses, the type, mm -hmm. chose the latter. Mm -hmm. Just so the Moses, an, the antitype, mm -hmm. prefers to stay with the denomination, mm -hmm. esteeming the reproach. the reproach of Christ greater, greater riches. riches than the treasures of Egypt. Right? Even the Moses of the modern time will choose to be cast away like Belial. Then Christ was being called Belial. Satanic. Every time nobody praised Christ. Nobody will choose to have all those remarks suffer in bondage just for the sake of, of Christ. All that we do is what we are doing to Moses of this time. And some know, some are hitting, some are what, but this will be done in the order of the day. They choose to suffer being called all names, but for the truth's sake. You understand? Like it was with Moses, right? Um, let's see another verse in Exodus chapter 2, verse 11, 11 to 15. Verse 11, mm -hmm. and it came to pass in those days, mm -hmm. when Moses was grown, mm -hmm. that he went out unto his brethren, and mm -hmm. he spied an Egyptian smiting in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. He slew the Egyptian, mm -hmm. and hid him in the sand. Mm -hmm. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. Mm -hmm. And he said to him, mm -hmm. that did the wrong, mm -hmm. wherefore smite the thou thy fellow? Mm -hmm. And, and he, he said, said mm -hmm. Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Mm -hmm. Intendest thou to kill me as thou mm -hmm. killest the Egyptian? Mm -hmm. And Moses feared. Mm -hmm. But Moses fled, fled from the face of Pharaoh mm -hmm. and dwelt in the land of Midian. Now, so you see, when we, Moses fled, did not further exist in, with Pharaoh. He fled away because he was trying to make it right for the Israelites. Isn't it? Now, let's hear. Moses supposed... Moses supposed he was to deliver the children of Israel by force of arms. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he rolled up his sleeves and went about his duty. Mm -hmm. Moses' misconception of the method to be used in the deliverance of Israel mm -hmm. was not the only thing wrong with the man. Mm -hmm. If that was the way mm -hmm. he understood Israel was to obtain their freedom, mm -hmm. he failed to carry out the plan. Mm -hmm. His trouble was not because of lack of education mm -hmm. or training mm -hmm. as a general of armies. Mm -hmm. 
that he failed to carry out his project, but mm. because he was too cowardly and feared Pharaoh. Right. If this was not the cause of his failure, mm. why then kill only one Egyptian, right. bury him in the sand, mm -hmm. and after it mm. was made known, run away and leave Israel to perish in slavery? Right. Uh -huh. If this... So if his intention or understanding was to lead Israel mm. against the armies of Israel, of, of Egypt, Egypt. Mm. he should not have hidden the Egyptian in the sand, mm -hmm. but left him upon, upon the, the ground, ground for an example, uh -huh. and then go after others. Right? Failing to carry out his proposed scheme, Moses made a double mistake. That was a double mistake for Moses to go to go to Midian. Right? We are learning all that, isn't it? That's why we, we unite to study, right? Let's go further and... What is our 90.5? Yeah, this ancient Moses. This ancient Moses is a symbol of modern Moses, mm -hmm. which is the present leadership. Mm -hmm. As Moses' failure mm -hmm. was not because of lack of training, mm -hmm. but because of a misconceived idea mm -hmm. of the methods to be carried out. Right. Just so with the leadership now. Mm -hmm. As Moses failed to mm -hmm. accomplish his own mistaken plan, mm. what he supposed was wise judgment, mm -hmm. just so the leadership have now failed on their part. Now, let's go to Review and Herald. Review and Herald, page, February, chapter, chapter, February 20, page, uh, February 20, 1930, right? We are in danger. We are in danger of trusting to methods, mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. and high-pressure service. Right. Which, if taken alone, mm. can in the end result only in confusion, dissatisfaction, and mm -hmm. defeat. What are these methods that we use? We will find out as we apply that scripture, right? Let's see the application of the type. How, does, how do we meet the anti-type of all this, what Moses did, right? Let's go. If Pharaoh... If Pharaoh is the king, mm -hmm. the rulership, mm -hmm. who rules over the people, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. the church is the queen. Right. Then mm -hmm. princess is the school, the church school. Mm -hmm. Egypt is a symbol of the world. Right. And the Nile is a symbol of the sins of the world. Mm -hmm. By the aid of the God-fearing mother, mm -hmm. Moses mm -hmm. was the type not to cast into the river Nile. Right. Just so with modern Moses, who by the help of the Christian mother, mm. is saved from the river Nile. Right. The sin in the world. Mm. But when she cannot keep him any longer, right. and must send him to the schools of the land, mm -hmm. where, his, where sin reigns, mm. the church school or the princess finds him. Right. As Moses, who was the type, mm. received his education by the aid of the princess. Mm -hmm. For the princess. Now, where, where, let's, let's just see, where does Moses come from? So this education, it should be coming from our people. In Deuteronomy 18, verse 18 says, I'll raise up a prophet from your own people, isn't it? Now, if it's coming from our own people, who educated that Moses? It's our own people who educated. Where, where is that person baptized? The, our own people baptized that person. And when he was baptized, he received all the knowledge from our own people, like it was with Moses, but fled to Midian. When now he wanted to start his his work, isn't it? Now that's why when we 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 advocate the truth, the method that the Vienna was talking about of disfellowshipping people who come with the truth, these are wrong methods. These are all wrong methods, and God, there are no way in the Bible that we should do it. But they were enhancing that we should cast Moses in the river Nile, and where in the river Nile is in the basket. And then in the basket where what happens, God rescues Moses so that Moses will vindicate the truth better, but still not in Pharaoh's in palace, right? You understand? But away from Pharaoh, is Moses when he came, he was working with Aaron. They were not together with Pharaoh. They were contending with Pharaoh, always contending. What for? To release the, the Israelites, contending. Asking Pharaoh, release them. Why? They should go and keep the feast. They were, they were supposed to come out of Egypt so that they start keeping the feast. And the same Moses of this time, contending with Pharaoh to release the people to keep the feast at the proper depth. This is what we should. Who is Israel by promise? Who is it? The people should be released from Pharaoh to keep the feast. Do you understand? Right. Um, Let's quote from 
But the days of purification of the church are hastening apace. Right, volume five testimony for the church, page eighty-two. Yeah, but the days of purification. Now these are the days where Moses, the modern Moses, will wait. These are the days of purification of the church. They are fast hastening apace. Right. God will have a people pure and true. Right. In the mighty sifting soon to take place, we shall be better able to measure the strength of Israel. Right. The signs reveal that the time is near when the Lord will manifest that His fan is in His hand. So, God will come with His fan, and which is the fan? The truth. The truth now will be vindicated in the days that are now for the purification of the church. We shall be better able to measure the strength of believers. All these millions that we are being told, they are not. They are, they are, they are not true. The truth is, those who will catch on to the truth of the last prophet are the ones that are going to be measured. Because the, why, why measure in the strength of Israel? We have 1.4,000 being measured, isn't it? And later on, the greater multitude, they are there in the church. First with the greater multitude of the church. Next, after, the, after that, we have the greater multitude of the Gentiles. But we should be better able to measure the strength of Israel when the truth comes, which is the fan, which is in the in the hand of God, which you will bring using Moses of the modern day, right? Uh -huh. The signs reveal that mm. the time is near when the Lord will manifest that His fan is in His hand, right? And He will thoroughly purge His flow. Mm -hmm. Those who have trusted to intellect, there are people who trusted in intellect, genius. There are people, there are people who are genius or talent. Who are trendy. Who, when they preach, you say there's no other. Or talent, you say there's no other. There are people like that. Uh -huh. We will not then stand at the head of rank and file. They will not stand as leaders then. They won't stand. Why? Because once they do not go along with the truth that is going to be preached in the last days, they cannot stand at the head of rank and file. God cannot use them. Right? And what? Mm-hmm. They did not keep pace with the light. They should have kept pace with the light. Now, when we are in the fifth angel, and you are still in the third angel, you are not keeping pace with the light. Mm -hmm. God will use those who have gone, who have proceeded from third angel, fourth angel, fifth angel, for all these five angels of Revelation 14, are there coming to the church. So those who, who were stuck with the third, were not going, are not going, they should have gone to the fourth and fifth, so that they are used by God, and they are knowledgeable. But they did not keep pace with the light. They stayed somewhere. Right? And uh -huh. those who have proved themselves unfaithful mm -hmm. will not then be entrusted with the flock. Right? In the last solemn work, few great men will be engaged. All those great men that you think they are great, in this last solemn work, few of them will be used. You'll be surprised. <laughs> you say there is no women or nation, but there is no men or nation in the last days because. There is just a few men who is going to be used. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are self-sufficient. They are because they are self-sufficient. The fact that they know that they are the men that should be used, so that make them self-sufficient. Because they, they don't plead with God, God, can you use me also? No, they just say, we are the ones, we are the men who are supposed to be used. You, you become self-sufficient. And what? Independent of God. Independent of God. Once you are self-sufficient, you don't need God. So they are independent of God. And what? And he cannot use them. He can't use them. God cannot use anyone who knows is the one supposed to be used. Mm. Once you say, I'm the one supposed to be used, God will bypass you. God uses those who say, okay, if it, like it was with Jacob. Jacob was not full of talents. He has no hair. The hair was a symbol of talents. But Esau was full of talents. But God never used Esau. God used Jacob, who did not know, had talents to lead nothing, but was always envying to say, I want to work for God. And Jacob is the one who, who was used. And what? God cannot use them. They are self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. The Lord has faithful servants, mm. who in the shaking testing time will be disclosed we to are you. in the shaking and testing time. We are. And God is rebuilt. He's got the faithful people who, in this time, take up the, the rank and file, are being used by God. And what? 
There are precious ones now hidden mm -hmm. who have not bowed the knee to bow. Right. They have not had the light which has been shining in a concentrated place upon you. Mm -hmm. But mm. it may be under a rough and an inviting exterior. Right. The pure brightness of a genuine Christian character will be revealed. Right. In this time, mm. the gold will be separated from the dross in the church. Right. Many a star mm. that we have admired for How its brilliance. How many stars? How many stars have we been seeing as ministers? And some are now in the opposite direction, preaching something different, which is not even part of the word of God. They're gone. They're gone. We see them preaching something, something which is we cannot separate with the world. Many a star, they just vanish. But God is precious ones. We have not bowed their knee to bow. Who he will disclose at the right time, right? And mm -hmm. many a star mm. that we have admired for its brilliancy mm -hmm. will then go out in darkness. Right? The most weak and hesitating in the church mm. will be as David, right? Willing to do and dare. Right. So the, we will have the most weak ones, which we thought they were just rubbish in the church. They was they were just feeble. They will be strong. To show that they they want their Lord. They they come up stars, new stars. So when we are talking about the prophet David or the prophet Elijah coming in the last days, we're talking of somebody who come with beautiful stars, who we say, Where were these people trained? Where were, what about that one? And you find someone who is fully qualified to do the job of leading, but not trained in any institution, right? Those are the new leaders coming to take over. This is what is being said by, by testimonies uh, for the church page, uh, volume 5, page 80 to 82. Read it for yourself and see how the, church, the cup will turn over. It will be a changeover of leadership. And what? Mm -hmm. Then will the church of Christ appear mm. fair, fair as, as the moon, moon and clear as the it sun. It won't appear fair as the moon with the old leadership. Never. It will appear fair as the moon when we see the bright stars coming up. And those that we knew as stars, they dwindle. And then the church now comes out with a new prophet, a new ministry, and new pastors, and new leadership. Fair as the moon. Because it can't be fair as a moon with an old system. No, it should be a new system coming with Elijah. And what? Mm -hmm. Then will the church of Christ appear fair mm -hmm. as the moon, mm -hmm. clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners. You see? God will work a work in our day. Right? But, sorry, that but few anticipate. Few anticipate the work that God is doing. Why? Because they, they worship numbers. And they, they forget the people in the time of Noah were worshipping numbers. Only eight people did the right thing. Those who were worshipping numbers were all drowned in the water. So God, in numbers to God, you cannot convince God with numbers. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. You are wrong and wrong whether you are as many as a sea. Wrong error wrong. is error. Whether it's a lot of people are with that error, it is error. Right? And what? He who raise up and exalt mm. among us those who are taught rather by the unction of his spirit mm -hmm. than by the outward training of scientific institutions. Not people coming from these scientific institutions where they are being trained theology and what stuff and whatever. The God will have people who he will train without anyone going into this scientific institution. That's what we are reading from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, page 80 to 82, and what? Mm -hmm. These facilities mm -hmm. are not to be despised or condemned. D don't condemn them. They are ordained of God. They are ordained of God. But they can furnish only they the only exterior qualifications. The exterior qualifications, not the interior ones. But God will come with qualifications for the interior. These will come with a fresh supply of another strong ministry. And the last one is dwindling out. Many Esther just fades out. And he said, Compromise with the world and preach something strange doctrines and what? Mm -hmm. God will manifest that mm. He is not dependent on learned, self-important mortals. He is not dependent on people who come and say I have a doctorate, I have a whatever, I have a PhD. But He's not dependent on men. He can use even a donkey. In Balaam's time, he used a donkey. Where was the donkey trained? He only wants your mouth. Put the words in your mouth. That's it. That's what he wants. And um, let us read um, another exposition again. 
in uh, 1 is 93.1. Start where it says, uh, but Moses fled. But Moses fled mm -hmm. from the face of Pharaoh right. and dwelt in the land of Midian. Mm -hmm. And the priest of Midian gave Moses Zipporah, his daughter, to wife. So he married a, a priest, to a, a, a daughter to a, a priest. You know, Jethro was a priest of Midian, right? Uh -huh. Now, mm -hmm. Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, right? the priest of Midian. Mm -hmm. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert mm -hmm. and came to the mountain of God, Horeb. Right. And behold, the bush burned with fire, mm. and the bush was not consumed. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, mm. I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Mm. Why the bush is not burnt? Mm -hmm. God called out unto, Mo unto him mm. out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, mm. I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. Right. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, mm -hmm. that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And Moses said unto God, mm -hmm. Who am I, mm -hmm. that I should go unto Pharaoh? Right. And Moses said unto the Lord, O Lord, my Lord, O Lord, my Lord, mm -hmm. I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. Mm -hmm. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. Mm -hmm. I am of uncircumcised lips, mm -hmm. and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, mm -hmm. Who hath made mine's mouth? Right. Or who hath make it, make it the dumb, or the deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Mm -hmm. If not I, the Lord, now therefore go, mm -hmm. and I will be thy mouth, right. and teach thee what thou shalt say. Right. And the Lord, and the Lord said unto him, mm -hmm. What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. Mm -hmm. And he said, cast it on the ground. Right. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. Mm -hmm. And Moses fled from before it. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, right. Put forth thine hand, mm -hmm. and take it by the tail. Right. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. Mm -hmm. And he said, O oh, my Lord, send, I pray thee, mm -hmm. by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. <laughs> and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. Right. So that was Exodus chapter 2. <laughs> Verse 15, right. Now, let's apply this lesson in the antitype. Now, we read from 94.1. This last Moses mm. is the unlearned Moses. Now, we are talking of Moses. Who, now he was now unlearned. The first Moses who killed an Egyptian was learned. And look at what he did. He killed. But now when he fled to Midian, he became unlearned. He unlearned everything that he learned from Pharaoh. Now he learned only to head cattle and to be a shepherd. So now he was qualified to lead. So we are saying this last Moses is the unlearned Moses, right? Not. Not. Mm. He is slow of speech. He, he says, I'm not educated. I'm slow of speech. He's no eloquence. And it's not eloquent. You know, we, have, we have seen people say, oh, no, they, you know, someone says, okay, I can hear from the accent you are coming from Africa or whatever. It's slow of speech. Uneducated. Does not know how to know. Do you understand? Right. Uh -huh. Is of a slow tongue mm -hmm. and uncircumcised lips, which right. means to say untrained. Mm -hmm. He knows not how to approach fire. So Pharaoh. uncircumcised lips means and trained. No training of the scientific institutions. We want to find out where we get this thing, Elijah, or this Moses of modern, untrained, uncircumcised, and what? Mm -hmm. He knows not how to approach Pharaoh. He has been sent to approach Pharaoh, a ruler. He doesn't know. And we said Pharaoh was leadership, isn't it? He's been trained. You can't approach, approach him. This mighty giant says, no, 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 no. I don't know how to speak English. You understand? I don't know. And what? Uh -huh. He shrinks with the thought of standing before the great he monarch. He says, how can I stand before this great, great pharaoh? And, mm -hmm. Like the mercury shrinks from the north wind. Right. <laughs> but through, uh -huh. sorry, but though this Moses is, is handicapped. Right. He is nerve. Right. He's not a coward. But he's not a coward. Yeah, Amen. you see, people are cowards. You know, there are people who are cowards. There are people of this age, of this period.
ridicule of this, you know, our own people. They are cowards. They see something wrong. They do not point at it. But this Moses is not a coward. He will point and say, you are wrong there. You are wrong there. It's the nerve. Yeah, he's got the nerve. Yeah, you know, there are people who don't know. You know, you know they, they see someone area. No, no, don't worry. Let's pray. Let's pray for him. You don't even need to When Timothy said rebuke, chastise. Say it is wrong. Cry aloud. Agitate. But the Moses is not a coward. Right? Uh -huh. He risks his life. It's a risk. The risk, the, the Moses of the modern day, we should have should be a risk. He should should risk his life and say out because it's not as pleasant to say out. It's an unpleasant job. You understand? You you wish you didn't see anything wrong, but when you see anything wrong, you say the eye of the Lord has shown you that is wrong. So what are you going to do? So it's it depends who you fear. Do you fear man or you fear God? If you fear God, you will say it. That's the Moses of the hour. Yeah. Uh huh. He risks his life. Right. For he was asked the only ones to take the fabulous serpent by the tail. Mm -hmm. And he did so. So, look, if you know those who know, who know, we have seen snakes. As I know people, most people here have never seen snakes. Unless you go to a zoo or anyway. But a snake, you touch the tail, you are gone. That's why it has more power. It will dive at you. But Moses was told by God, pick the, the tail. You see, pick the tail. And he was brave enough. He could have said, ah, I'm scared. But he was brave enough. Pick the tail. He picked the tail. Do you understand? That's the Moses of the hour. Let's hear. Mm -hmm. This Moses is not a crown prince, mm -hmm. but a common shepherd only. Right? It's just, it's not a crown prince. What do you mean by crown prince? Those who are trained, who have got doctorate and PhD. Right? No, it's not. It's just a common shepherd. Do you understand? Uh -huh. But a common shepherd only. Right? The shepherd, Moses, is a type of man mm. who are to bring about reformation and be used in the time of the loud cry. In the loud cry, the one people thousand will be shepherds. They will be used to cry in the, in the... When we talk about one people thousand, you should know if we have that number, then we have, we have a, a prophet who has trained that number. That number doesn't just come about. It comes through training from the prophet. To mold that number. You understand? Uh -huh. The shepherd Moses is a type of man mm. who are to bring about reformation and be used in the time of the loud cry. Right. Brought to view in the following quotations. Now let's from... see the quotation from Live Sketches from Sister White. Live Sketches, page 245. What did he say? God is putting, God burdens. Is putting burdens mm -hmm. upon more inexperienced shoulders. She saw that. That God has taken those burdens that were in those who were trained is taking the burdens and putting into those who are not unexperienced trained. the shoulders very inexperienced people she saw that sister white saw that the burdens now are being taken from those who are trained to those who are not trained yeah uh -huh. he is fitting them uh -huh. to be caretaking what is he making them he is making them leaders those who are not trained she saw sister white saw that in the life sketches said the burdens where he is fitting them to be caretaking. Uh -huh. To what? To venture. To venture. And what? To run risks also. And also run risks. How do you run risks? Take up the position. Take up the position and people say, where is this person trained? We are not trained. We are trained by the unction of the spirit. We are not trained by scientific institution. But the unction of the spirit is said, that says the Lord in the Bible and the spirit of prophets with God leading you this is what you have to learn this is what you have to learn and god saying okay you go and say it out like he did to moses in that burning bush he was taking him and uh, ordaining him and there was no one witnessing there was anyone watching there no one was witnessing all we saw now is moses approaching Pharaoh. but what they have done with god the two of them there nobody saw it right and what he will 582. Uh -huh. He will, will raise, raise up and up. exalt among uh -huh. us mm -hmm. those who are taught rather by the unction of his spirit right. than by the outward training of scientific institutions. Right. That's what God is doing. We should be knowing exactly the antitype of it. Moses unlearned the best. All the degrees of power. 
And when intermediate, now intermediate, unless you are now not trained, you are fit for the job. You understand? Now let's go to testimonies to ministers, page 300. Unless, unless those who can help in are aroused to a sense of their duty, mm -hmm. they will not recognize the work of God when the loud cry of the third angel shall be heard. Now, unless those who can help in are aroused to their sense of their duty. So there is a duty of the last time, isn't it? They will not recognize the work of God. So right now, the work is about to end. Nobody is recognizing it, right? It's clear in the scriptures, it's plain that people will not recognize the work which God is doing. Yeah? And what? When, when the light, light goes forth uh -huh. to lighten the earth, right? instead of coming up to the help of the Lord. You see what they do? Because they don't recognize the work. Instead, when this light is going everywhere to everyone, what do they do? They will want to bind about his work. They are, they are just binding about To work. meet their narrow ideas. Because they have narrow ideas. What narrow ideas do they have? Oh no, women ordination. No, whatever. What a woman should do. Well, they are narrow, narrow ideas. Right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. The Lord will work in this last work. Do you hear that? In a manner very much out of the common order right. of things. You, you know that there is no women ordination, but... He will work in a manner which is out of the common order of things. Common order of things. And what in you, a way... What you know is not what he's going to use. When you thought this one was not going to be used, he will work against what you knew. You understand? This is what we are hearing from testimonies. Uh -huh. And in a way, that will be contrary to any human planning. Anyway, you never think you're going to sit down and plan the last week. The last week when the work goes into the loud cry... Coming with a prophet, it won't be planned by anyone. God will take the reins into his hands. He will work in a way which is out of the common order of any human planning. So you, you never sit down and plan and say, this is what we want, who are going to be working. No, not this one, but this one. No, no. You, you will surprise you by working in a way which is out of the common order of things and what? Mm -hmm. There will be those among us who yeah. always want to control the work of God. And there are people who want to control. No, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have this, you shouldn't have that. They want to control the work and bind about the work. They will be there among us. And what? To dictate even what movement shall be made. They dictate what movement and what? When the work goes forward under the direction of the angel, who joins the third angel now, in the message to be given to the world? When the work goes under the direction of the angel who joins the third angel. So you see, after the third angel, there is another angel coming with a work which is out of the common of the common order in a, a way which is contrary to us. But there will be those who want to bind up about no can't do because we are like this, hey, hey, you can't this, you can't bind about the work. They will be surprised. You, they will be surprised. It says so. And what? Mm -hmm. God will use ways and means right? by which it will be seen that he is taking the reins in his own he hands. He will use ways and means that it will be seen that no man is God who is leading. It's God who is leading. 